Hello everyone and welcome to the fundraising campaign for our next feature film, Wholesome Grove. My name is Eric Willis. I am the writer, director. I'm Doyle Haverfield and uh, I'm an actor and producer for this. And the film Wholesome Grove is about a uh, terminally ill teenager named Andrea who is trying to save the woods in her hometown from the evil CEO, Peter Albright. Um, Doyle, what attracted you to this film in the first place? I can tell you there were three things, three major things when I read the script. Um, as a child, uh, I, I actually had a park near my house. My dad and I used to go to quite a bit. And uh, over the years, uh, development occurred. And I actually revisited that park, I don't know how many years ago, but it's gone now uh, because development has taken over. Uh, so the park is now a subdivision. Uh, that was one thing, because it, it struck me as like, wow, that did happen to me too. The second thing is, is my dad actually passed away from mesothelioma about two years ago. And uh, one of the things that I noticed about him towards the end was he was connected to nature in a way that he might not have been, you know, through my life. I, I noticed that he wanted to really watch a lot of programs towards the end um, about nature, about animals and things like that. And that connection to nature, I think, uh, says a lot. Um, and I think when you have a terminal illness, it's the ultimate reconnection to yourself and to nature, possibly. And for this little girl, I think that that was probably one of the things that was happening for her, too, as well. So it connected me in that way. Right. Yeah. I think um, one of the most important aspects of the film for me was Andrea's passion, was her desire to leave her mark on the world. She knows her time is short, and she wanted to make an impact before, you know, before she died. Right, right. I think that that's the key is we all want to leave this place knowing that others will remember us and think highly of us or at least not think negatively of us. Right. And uh, doing something like that is, is certainly a way of making sure that that happens. The other thing I liked about this script was the arc of the character that I'm playing has. I've never had a, a character or a role that uh, really gave me that opportunity. So I'm looking forward to this. And I think that if we can get the support that we're looking for, which is not a lot, right. uh, we can make this thing happen and it'll be a significant uh, film for folks that uh, you know, are trying to reconnect. Right. Now, as Doyle said, we are um, looking for a modest amount for this film. All donations will go towards uh, production costs for salaries, food, location costs, all the whole nine yards. And um, we have, as you will see, with, that goes along with the campaign, we have several tiers of benefits that will go with your donations. And um, Doyle has a few things to say about the clips. Uh, we've got one clip here I think we're gonna show, uh, which is basically our proof of concept for this film. It really represents kind of the, uh, the extreme um, emotions that you'll see in this film. Um, and, uh, and, and part of the characters that come to life uh, at, at their High points, I think, and low points. You'll see that both of these. So. Yeah, yeah. I think these two clips they really emphasize um, the first one, the the clash between Andrea and Peter, and the second clip um, really is kind of the climax where the confrontation where Andrea is kind of laying down the law to Peter and she's letting him know how it's going to happen and she's not going to back down for anything. So we hope you enjoy both the clips and we appreciate any donation you can make.
You not get up? This will not take long. What's wrong? Just got to have a 16 year old with a laptop? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've had a few rashes more annoying than her. Hope you're not contagious. Yeah, so this little media frenzy you've generated uh, has served you well. You've had some fun with that. But I'm here to end that today. And how do you propose you're going to do that? Well, I filed an injunction against you and your little organization to cease and desist all activities. I think that's immediately, right? Yeah, immediately. Nice try. You can't do that. Our organization is protected under state and federal laws as a legal ecological protection entity. I'm <clears throat> afraid she's right, sir. What else you got? Well, I'll also be suing you for personal damages, uh, defamation, slander. Strike two. I'm a minor and we're 30% Cherokee. Ever heard of civil rights? Seriously? Listen, you little piss ant. Up until now, I played by the rules. I can play dirty with the best of them. Is that what you want? Yeah, you listen to me. Because if you don't get out of my daughter's face right now, I will remove yours permanently. Yeah. Okay, so I've also spoken with my investment group and they're willing to go the distance on this deal. And exactly what does that entail? Whatever it takes. You know, I find it hard to believe that your investors are willing to drag this case along for months, even years. <clears throat> they are indeed. You'll find it all in these documents. I'm sorry, did you say years? Is that a problem? You're bluffing. I never bluff. Look, I'm gonna need some days to go through these documents. Oh, uh, please take your time, as Mr. Albright alluded. We are in no hurry. Good. So then we'll schedule something for early next week. That would be perfect. You can reach me here and I'll set it up. Good. So we're done here. Yeah, I know we're done. When we first met with that guy, he wanted to end it immediately. And now he's willing to drag it out indefinitely? Mom. Who knows? Is that a problem? Uh, now, I can handle the press conference if you're not comfortable with it. No. The people backing us expect to see me. You are truly a wonderful young lady, I must admit. I had a good teacher. Uh, oh, hold on. Anything you got to say to them, you can say to me. I'm not here on official business. I resigned as Mr. Albright's attorney last night. I'm sorry, what? He crossed a line of ethics that I just couldn't deal with. And what exactly was that? He... We... Obtained Andrea's health records and were prepared to use them against her. I knew it! <laughs> no, wait a minute. You're readily admitting this. Now you know this is a serious crime. I'm well aware of the implications and accept whatever path you choose to take. What does this all mean? Mr. Albright wasn't bluffing. He is prepared to bury you in paperwork, hoping that Andrea's condition will take precedence and you'll drop the campaign. How can anyone be that heartless? Believe me, it comes very easily to Mr. Albright. Well, what do we do now? We use it. We'll file formal charges against Mr. Albright and his investors. We'll force them to drop out of the project altogether. Oh, that's wonderful. Mr. Albright and his constituents will all be facing some serious jail time. Mom, I don't want anyone to go to jail. I just want to save Wholesome Grove. Some Grove is saved. But at what price? Sending people to jail and completely ruining their lives? That's not what I had in mind. Hey, these people, they're... They're ruthless. But I'm not. Well, what do you suggest we do? I have an idea. Good afternoon, everyone. I had a speech prepared today, but unforeseen circumstances have changed what needs to be said. 
I had planned to talk to all of you about Wholesome Grove and what it means to me and to this community. I had planned to reach millions in my quest to save Wholesome Grove. However, there is only one person that needs to be reached today. I'm standing here in front of the world to make a personal offer to Mr. Peter Albright. Meet with me, one-on-one, -on -one. no reporters, no lawyers, just us. Let me show you the source of my passion. Let me show you why Wholesome Grove is so important. Prove to the world that you aren't this heartless tyrant that everyone thinks you are. These are my terms and they are non-negotiable. Thank you. That was incredible. I have never been prouder of you. Do you think he'll go for it? Something tells me he will. Hello, Mr. Albright? 